and I can play with uh, some of these coordinates. until I get the right settings for us. There we go. I'm just going to hit OK on this. Now I'm changing the size of the door to match this uh, very strange outside Whatever, or I'll make it smaller. Okay, now that the door is placed reasonably enough, I can then duplicate this unlinked door. Now that the door is duplicated, I'm going to bring it out a little bit, and I'm going to bring it over towards where the back door is. I'm going to turn it. And then I'm going to push it into where I want it to be. At this point, I'm not trying to be excellent. I'm just trying to get the door to be where the door should be close enough to. And this doesn't look too, too bad. I'm just going to keep it there. Now, there is one problem, and that is that I do not remember whether or not, um, or at least which door I had gotten the reference sheets to. So if I go into this interior, I need to figure out which door is which. So this is the front door. Okay. So that one was definitely the front door. So on here, we can reference it as the front door, which would have been smart of me to do earlier. And then the back door. We don't need to name it the reference here. Each, uh, each object cannot um, share the same reference, so there's no point in naming them each front and back door. Uh, regardless, I'm going to go outside again real quick. Okay, now that we have that solved, if I click on this front door, I click off teleport, I click on this, which allows me to put it at any other door I want, I double click, now you see that yellow thing, I can hit OK on that, now you see this yellow thing right here, I need to select it, and then when it is selected, drag it out, because you cannot have this inside of the door, this is where, um, when you come outside, or yeah, when you, when you come outside from the interior, this is where your character will spawn at. So, um, we definitely want to have it at a reasonable uh, spot next to the door. And um, we don't want it inside of the door because then your character will be stuck. Now, I can link this back door. Now the uh, back door is linked. I'm just going to place this really quick. And then I'm going to go into uh, the interior of the house. If I'm in the interior, you will see that there are now two of these yellow things. And I'm going to drop it down uh, to face as if I was coming inside the building. And same thing for this other one right here. And now that we have just finished this level of ours, we can save it. And we are going to save it as whatever we want. Let's hit OK. Where we have Fallout saved, you just click the play button. And then from there, you just hit data files. Then you just hit the mod. So now it's going to load when the game starts up. Then you play.
Okay, now you'll notice that right in front of us is the house we've created. Now that we're inside the house, you can see uh, everything's where it should be, including awesome box. And our back door works as well. But we're not quite done just yet. Um, there is one more thing that we do need to talk about as far as making interiors. This house uh, was a duplicate, which means that um, previous data, such as this right here, this is the directional marker. So when you enter, it'll tell you which way north is. And then um, there are other elements. And uh, that includes these, which are light. If you notice that uh, around these light bulbs is where the light actually is. These lamps don't produce any real uh, light. It's just an illusion, um, which these light bulbs here, you see, they do produce the light. Then this uh, A. Um, deals with the interior space as far as audio, I believe. Yeah, it's an audio marker. And um, things like the light coming through the window, these are special effects. See FX in the name. Um, but besides all that, the, uh, the more important thing I wanted to talk to you guys about would be um, the nav mesh. If you click this icon right here, this uh, this bar will pop up. Now you'll see a bunch of triangles. Um, you you should also notice that they go around objects. And uh, what nav mesh is, uh, besides the fact that I just told you it's a group of triangles, it is where a uh, non-playable character, an NPC. That's the abbreviation for it. Uh, can walk around. So if I put down, uh, say, like a dog, the dog will walk wherever these triangles are. And it won't walk into the couch because there's not triangles running underneath the couch. So suppose the dog's running away from you because you're punching it in the face too much. Well, it's not going to run into the couch because it's going to know that it cannot walk where the couch is. Um, so... For example, I'm going to remove all the nav mesh here. If I click up here, remove cell nav meshes. Now there's no nav meshes here. But if I go back up here and I generate one for this world space and hit OK, now you'll notice that it's not the best. It is definitely not the best it could be. Um, so for a lot of levels you will have to do the nav meshing yourself but if you're lucky the generator might get you something close to like what we saw earlier which I will get us back to or not yeah it's not letting me control Z it anyways so uh, yeah in certain cases like this, you will have to manually do it. And how to manually do it is, um, is you click up here. This allows us to select the vertices. So if I click here, and if I click here, I have to control click so that both of these are selected. And then I click somewhere else. Um, I'm not left clicking. Uh, I'm right clicking to create these vertices. These aren't necessary. Um, so if I if I hold down control and left click selecting two vertices and then I right click while holding control on a third vertice, 
it will connect the triangles and I can move it around. So this is how you can create more triangles and uh, manually create nav mesh in your level. Which again, it is easier if you have uh, if you have a generate, but it doesn't always work. And just uh, one more important reminder before we finish this tutorial, and that is that nav mesh is necessary in most maps. If it's a map just for your character, then it's unnecessary. But if it's a map for uh, in which say like creatures will fight you or uh, it'll be some character's house that you create he's gonna need to have that so he knows where to walk around at. and that pretty much sums up nav mesh